Okay, question. I've been trading pullbacks, high probability, low risk entries. Can I make a living trading pullbacks? Absolutely. But a lot of them are hard. Today, you know, what's a pullback? It's a trading range day. This is a pullback, strong leg down. That's a pullback. You know, I think you, you totally can make a living trading pullbacks. The different things that you can trade, breakouts. Breakouts are my favorite. When I see a bar like 27, I'm shorting. So breakouts are my favorite. And then you start to get pullbacks from breakouts. They're okay as well, but the difficulty is you're then in a channel, and sometimes it's really hard, like selling below 62, 63 here yesterday. I did not sell with a stop below those bars. It's too low down and too big a bull bar, but it turned out to be okay. This is a better pullback, you know, pullback near the moving average, two legs down, so something like that. So you definitely can make money or a living trading just pullbacks. Reversals are more difficult. Major trend reversals, I think, are good if you can swing trade because 60% of the time you're not going to make money on a reversal. You'll make a little money, you'll lose a little money, but 40% of the time you will get a swing. So they're okay as well. Trading ranges, I think, are the most difficult for most traders. They're frustrating. You don't make a lot of money. You're never as certain as you want to be, but you can make a living doing it. Just fading everything. Every time it goes up, you sell. Every time it goes down, you buy. You scale in. You use wide stops. And I do that in trading ranges a lot. On a day like today, when I thought we were going to get a big breakout, I was not willing to sell above bars and buy below bars. And had I done that, obviously I would have made a lot more points than what I did.